wasn't, uh, this just came out unexpectedly, and, huh, was it really expecting this to happen at RTX? But, uh, they just announced it like an hour ago on the site, the Rooster Teeth site, that Crow's new voice actor has just been announced. Um, yeah, so, again, they announced Crow's new, new voice actor. It is somebody I am completely unfamiliar with, mainly because this guy, his name is, uh, hold up, uh, I'm going to set it here. You're looking at the screen right now. Uh, this guy right here is Jason Liebrecht. And I, I, I think that's how I'm saying his uh, name, his last name. It could be Liebrecht or Liebrecht. I don't know. If you guys know if I have to, how I pronounce it, let me know in the comments below. But this is an, exci an exciting video for many people who have anticipated a new voice actor for Crow. And for those who watched any of the anime that this guy voices in. the guy Again, the guy's name is Jason Liebrecht. He is an American voice actor. And he's voiced into some anime that I'm like familiar in like name or I've seen some clips on YouTube. So, Jason Liebrecht. He's a voice actor. He has voiced several anime. Some of them, let's see. Scrolling through his Wikipedia. Um, I'm familiar, let's see. I'm familiar with One Piece. I used to watch One Piece um, back in the day. Um, he was also, let's see. He, he's in Dragon Ball, but I'm not, I never seen like, like the drag the new dragon ball i've seen like the old dragon ball from like the early 2000s and uh, he's also in attack on titan i've heard of that show fairy tale and i might have heard a little bit about black clover but i'm not i'm not an avid watcher of anime i don't know why it, i mean it sounds exciting it sounds cool to watch anime but it's not my uh it's not something that i like watch I've seen a. I did see some of. Uh, it. I forgot what it was called. Dragon Maid. I'm trying to figure it out. Dragon Maid. Let's take a look. A dra. Dragon Maid. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that. Uh, when I think it was like, when it was like, during like a like a marathon. So yeah. So the guy is Jason Lee Bright and. We found out about this first, well, a lot of people did at first with from Kerry Shawcross who posted it on his uh, post on the Rooster Teeth side. He put it up and it's titled Ruby Volume 7 Updates and Ruby at RTX. And I'm going to read this little article here that talks about RTX but also has the announcement for Crow's new voice actor. So, here it is. It says, "Yo, yo, yo." He really, he really, he really typed that. That's uh, <laughs> really. RTX is this week, and I'm freaking out. By the way, um, for those of you who don't know, I am leaving here on Wednesday in the early morning, just so that I could catch my plane, get there as soon as possible. I'll be there from the third to the ninth. So if you're at R if you're at RTX, if you want to take a picture with me, you may go ahead because it really surprised me that a lot of that some people at RTX stopped by and they wanted my picture. They wanted to take a picture with me. That was pretty cool. And these were people I, I used to talk to. I like talk to at a uh, at like a Discord chats and stuff. So it was pretty cool. So um so we're going to go ahead and put on, read the article. Ruby Ruby 7 is going real well. I'll talk about it more on the panel which is at Friday at 1 p.m. Hall 1 at the Austin Convention Center. I'm definitely going there. I've got the Platinum Pass, so I will, I'm going to try to get on the center the center st seats. But we're off to a really great, good, strong start this year. Sorry, I need to make sure the OBS was working. We're changing some things up in some positive ways, and I think it's a really already showing great results. I promise I'll give more details at RTX. Sorry to tease. Speaking of RTX, I wanted to confirm that we are planning to upload the panel afterwards on RoosterTeeth.com. Oh, good, good, good. They're going to upload the Ruby panel uh, at RT on the RoosterTeeth site after. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. For those of you who are who were worried if the panel or not was not going to be uploaded, so that's good. So even if we you weren't there with us in person, you'll still be able to check it out. 
and you're going to want to check it out because we might be showing things new things and talking about cool new stuff like maybe some new game and books oh boy that'll be great i'll post about a journal talking about some of our biggest announcements after the panel you can read it straight from the horse's mouth i'm the horse you're really trying to go funny there huh you're pretty, doing a pretty good job <laughs> um and this one looks like some sort of change in like the q a portion of it because I guess they were, because um, some people out there are going to be asking questions about uh, the Adam situation, the Bumblebee situation, or maybe those two are the same thing, and pro and all and mainly the Vic Mignogna situation. I think that they're doing this change to avoid like a lot of people asking about Vic. So yeah, I'm going to finish looking at this. We're also going to be changing up how we're doing questions this year. Over the years, we've gotten feedback about the Q&A portion and how it's done. Sometimes it's the same question over and over again, or long stories, which are cool, but don't get me wrong. Or questions about ships, end of the show, etc. But in these slow, but these can slow down the panel and not allow us to get as many people or questions as we want to. And that is true. I was like second or third behind the microphone. I was close to getting a question and then like three or four people asked some long questions or they got a question that had like a long explanation from the people at the table and this is a good change they're doing right there so let's keep going uh, with this new method that hopefully this will work a lot better and we'll be able to answer a lot more questions in a fun and meaningful way we plan on taking a whole variety of topics so if you're coming don't be afraid to write down whatever you want step one Make sure you have the RTX app. Let's see. Uh, where's the app? Right here. Downloaded it. Yeah. Step two. Friday morning, a couple hours before the panel, a push notification will be go out detailing how to fill out the new QA form. Cool. And attend the panel and hear what questions we'll be answering. So I'm guessing that. Um. I'm gonna guess that we there's gonna be an a thing in the app. Or it's a Q&A form. We just fill it out, give a, and um, we just do the questions, and somebody sorts out to them. They sort out all the Vic Mignogna questions, all the Adam questions, all the Bumblebee questions, just so that uh, only the ones that they feel appropriate for the panel, which is completely understandable. Understandable. So we're gonna let's continue looking. Uh, one more thing that's obviously a lot of conversation on who will be voicing Crow. 2019 has been a wild year for me as I grow and develop my role and responsibilities as a creator and for my own mental sanity. I'm choosing to move forward on a lot of topics in positive light. To the end, I can't think of anything more positive than to have Jason Liebreich voice Crow Branwin. We're incredibly excited to be working with him and he's doing an amazing job. Welcome him and send him some love. I already did. I'll prove it to you right here. I'll just go to my Twitter. Yeah, we're going on my Twitter here. And uh, holy shit, I got 15 notifications. Uh, That's for something else. I'll show you guys after that. Um, Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is my tweet? Um, hmm. is that the oh, here it is. This is what I tweeted about the announcement. Hmm, being very honest here, I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> I really don't know who this guy is. I've only known, I only know about the shows he voices in, like Attack on Titan or One Piece. But I'm willing to see how he handles the role of Crow and Ruby. Best of luck and welcome to the show. And then that's the guy's Twitter. Uh, if you guys want to, go check out his Twitter, send him some love. But don't send him hate. Please don't do that. And he also, the guy also liked my tweet. Look, he's right here. I'm going to zoom in so he can prove it. That's him. Him. Zoom up. Jason Liebrick. Yep. Liebrick. I have to really announce this guy's name right. I sound like an asshole just for saying it wrong. But yeah, a, a lot of people are excited, are surprised about this. Uh, we got that Kyle Dan here. Big. Okay, here. Look at this guy. He, this is some of the reactions some of the, the some of the Ruby reactors are having. So this one's from Deck Heidel Dan. Big Ruby news. Carrie has revealed in the post about the Ruby panel that Crow Brandon is now voiced by Jason Liebrick. The voice of Ciaran? Ciaran? In Cardcaptor Sor... I read... I used to watch that show. Cardcaptor, man. That's another one. Champa in DB Super and y Yato in Nor Noragami. 
You see, this is this is what happens when you don't watch anime. You don't know how to pronounce these names right. So let's see another person. Let's see. Um, oh, Cal Axon. He voices Seek in Attack on Titan and Dobby in My Hero Academia. Send him lots of love since he's a part of the Ruby family now. I think we might have accidentally didn't leave a space between A and part Cal, but but uh, that's okay. We all know what you mean. Yes. So welcome, Jason. Welcome to the Ruby family. Welcome and best of luck to you in voicing Crow. Now, I'm going to end the video here. Give your thoughts about this announcement in the description below. No, not the description. The comments. Uh, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to check all the multiple notifications up because... Uh, Remember that guy, the self-proclaimed Ruby Crow Brett, like Vic Mignogna fan? I put a tweet about about how he's going to react to all this and stuff. And I'm kind of looking forward to his reaction because I've lost faith in that guy. He, he's basically broke his promise to change and he has not changed. And, and also because I did a tweet asking for guys for links to this announcement as well. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, again, give your opinion about this announcement and who you thought, who you wanted to be the voice crow, but are okay with uh, Jason being the character. All right, catch you all.